Moving on from there, we have Aeternus with Beyond the Wandering Moon. And so the night became. Burning the Shroud. Uh, Ascension of Terror. And a Darker Monument. Next up, we have AFI, uh, the punk band uh, from... I don't remember where they're from. I was just trying to stall while I grabbed these. First up, we have Answer That and Stay Fashionable. Very proud of you. Uh, which one is this? Shut Your Mouth and Open Your Eyes. The A Fire Inside EP. Black Sails at Sunset or In the Sunset, excuse me, the All Hollows EP, uh, The Art of Drowning, Sing the Sorrow, December Underground, uh, I Heard a Voice Live in Long Beach, uh, Crash Love, this is the deluxe edition with the bonus uh, demos DVD, or CD I mean, Burials, AFI, The Blood Album, and their most recent album, Bodies. Next up, we have Agawak, who just actually recently reunited this year, um, surprisingly, which, uh, if they're going to do new music, I would, I hit the thing on my chair, I would be all for, because uh, Agawak is one of my favorite folk bands, like folk metal bands of all time. First up, we have Pale Folklore, get it without the glare there, the uh, Of Stone, Wind, and Pillar EP, The Mantle, The Grey EP, uh, Ashes Against the Grain, The White EP, which I know you can't see very well, it's literally just like bright white. Uh, which one was this? This is Marrow of the Spirit. The White Division Gray compilation. It comes with both the white and the uh, uh, gray EPs, as well as some other bonus material. The Faustian Echoes EP. And their final uh, slash most recent album, The Serpent and the Sphere. Next up is uh, Agat. I think I'm gonna butcher this. Agatha Damon or Agathod Agathodamon. I have no clue. With Higher Art of Being, as well as Serpent's Embrace. Next is Agatus with the Eternalist. Then we have uh, Agasura. Um, a Again, butchering it with Revelations. Uh, next is Agrimonia with Rites of Separation. Then we have Ahab uh, with The Divinity of Oceans. The Call of the Wretched Sea. The Boats of the Glen Carrig and their 2023 album, The Coral Tombs. Next up is Akerkaki with uh, Corazon. Uh, what's this one? Words That Go Unspoken, Deeds That Go Undone, and Antichrist. Next is Acolyte, Origin, Igniting the Luciferian Flame. This is a uh, compilation of two separate demos um, for, called And From the Ashes I Rose and Torch of the Black Flame. Next is Alastor with Slave to the Grave. Next up we have Alsay, or Alcest, or however you want to correct me in saying it. 
uh, and I'm going to butcher this because I don't speak French, uh, Souvenir d'un Entremont, I believe is how that uh, the debut is pronounced. The, uh, these two I know uh, I'll pronounce correctly because I love these albums. Uh, Eclat de Lune, I believe, maybe I'm not so sure. Um, Le Voyage de Léon. I know I got that one right. And these two, I can't mess up because they're, they're in English. Uh, Shelter and Spiritual Instinct. Next up, we have uh, Aldebaran with Embracing the Lightless Depths. Next is Ailstorm. Uh, not Hailstorm with an H, Ailstorm like ale to drink storm uh, black sails at midnight back through time live at the end of the world a live uh, CD DVD set uh, uh, sunset on the golden age has a uh, bonus acoustic disc and seventh rum of a seventh rum the deluxe digi book with the uh, acoustic album included as well as the main album next is the algorithm with brute force then we have a legion with form shifter next is altar with in the name of the father then we have altar of plagues with teeth glory and injury next is amaran's plight with voice in the light Next up is uh, Amasefer with Exodus, Slaves for Life. Then we have uh, Amasoeurs, A-M-E-S-O-E-U-R-S, -E uh, with Ruins human, uh, Humanus. Again, I think that's French, and I don't speak French. Next is Amethystium with Aphelion. And... Evermind. Alright, next up we have The Amity Affliction. Uh, one I list, band I listened to when I was in like high school. Still still love some of their stuff. Uh, obviously, a lot of it has not aged well, but these three albums I think have, or at least two of these three anyway, um, have aged fairly well. Uh, first up we have um, Let the Ocean Take Me. This is the two disc uh, deluxe edition. Misery, which I think is still their best album. It's far different from anything they've ever done, also. Uh, and then not... Uh, sorry. The, it it looks like the same album cover. Don't judge me. Uh, it's not the, the most recent one. It's Everyone Loves You Until You Leave... Or Once You Leave Them. Next up is The Mighty Amon Amarth from Sweden. First up, we have Once Sent from the Golden Hall. This one... And the next one are both the 2009 reissue uh, that has the bonus disc where they perform the album live front to back from the Bloodshed Over Bauckham set. So there's that one. And The Avenger. And then we have Versus the World. This is a two CD set. It, the second disc has uh, The Sorrow Throughout the Nine Worlds EP uh, and both demos Thor Arise and Arrival of the Fimble Winter. Next up we have uh, Fate of Norns. Next is With Odin on Our Side. This is the deluxe edition. has a bonus uh, live CD. Uh, Twilight of the Thunder God, the deluxe edition with the bonus um, Summer Breeze DVD. Surta Rising, this is the deluxe edition with the bonus um, Bloodshed Over Bauckham DVD where they perform their first four albums live front to back. Uh, Deceiver of the Gods, this is the deluxe box that comes with the main album as well as the Under the Influence EP. Then we have Yom's Viking, the deluxe uh, digibook. Berserker. And their most recent album, The Great Heathen Army. Next up, we have another one of my favorite uh, melodic death metal bands uh, from Scandinavia. Uh, Amorphous. Starting with the Corellian Isthmus. Tales from the Thousand Lakes, Elegy, the My Cantale EP, Tuanella, 
Om Universum. Far from the Sun. Eclipse. Uh, Silent Waters. Skyforger. This is the one with the US bonus track, Godlike Machine. Then we have uh, t Forging the Land of a Thousand Lakes. This is a two CD, two DVD uh, live album. The, CD, the first CD is the Oulu Show from DVD 1. And then uh, DVD 2 has the Summer Breeze uh, Open Air 2009, as well as music videos and a 20-year uh, documentary on DVD 2. Then we have uh, The Beginning of Times. Circle, this is the deluxe edition with the bonus DVD. Under the Red Cloud. Queen of Time. And their most recent album, Halo. Next up is Amphisbena with their self-titled, I believe it's self-titled EP. Yes, it is self-titled. Then we have Amun, uh, one of my favorite uh, small bands that I really wish would have taken off. They've unfortunately broken up now. Shout out to uh, CJ Yacoub, um, who I met in the Cover Killer Legion uh, Facebook group. Uh, he was the drummer for this band. Uh, this is the only album I have on CD from them, uh, The City. They, um, they put one of their EPs on CD as well. And then their most recent album that came out uh, this, uh, this year... Uh, has not been pressed on any physical format, unfortunately, uh, and it's also their last, which is uh, sad. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, best of luck to the guys because that they made some incredible music. Next up is Anal Nathrak with. Uh, we're, we're starting it with the Codex Necro. When fire rains down from the sky, mankind will reap as a sown EP. Then, uh, Domine Non S Dignus, uh, Eschaton, and Hell is Empty and All the Devils are Here. Next up, we have A Nail with From Arcane Rites, uh, then Anata with Under a Stone with No Inscription. Next up is Anathema, and I really wish I had more from these guys because I love these guys uh, so much. First up we have The Silent Enigma, uh, Eternity, Judgment, uh, A Fine Day to Exit, A Natural Disaster, Uh, which one was this? This is uh, We're Here Because We're Here. Weather Systems. Distant Satellites. This is the Deluxe Digibook version with the uh, 5.1 Surround Sound DVD. And The Optimist. Uh, their final album. In unless they decide to come back from this hiatus, which, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't see happening anytime soon, unfortunately. Next is Anatomy with the Twisted Depths of Horror. Then we have, which one's this? Uh, Ancalagon, Ancalagon, Ancalagon with Gateway Spectre. Then we have Ancient Wisdom with Death Bike. Uh, this one I actually just picked up the other day. Uh, Angel Corpse with Iron Blood and Blasphemy. Then we have... Uh, Angerot with the Splendid Iniquity. Then is Anglogard with Epilogue. And Angra with Secret Garden. Next up we have Angtoria with God Has a Plan for Us All. Then we have Animals as Leaders with The Madness of Many. Uh, these are out of order. Uh, the self-titled should have been before that. And their most recent album, I can't remember if this was this year or last year, uh, Parhesia. I think this was 2022. Next up is Anna Blue. Uh, she's one of my favorite YouTube musicians. Um, sadly, she hasn't done anything in a while. 
um, and her online store has been taken down. So I really hope everything is okay on that end. Uh, but Anna Blue and Damien Dawn uh, with N2 Mines uh, signed on the in, or on the inside. And then uh, they also wrote on the inside, thank you for everything, Anna Blue and Damien Dawn. And then this one I unfortunately had to buy secondhand. Well, I guess not unfortunately, um, but I would have rather bought it in, uh, uh, from them directly. But it's the Blind Eyed EP. Uh, and this one also had a note on the inside. Um, it is signed on the inside as well. And then uh, there's a note from Damien saying, let us know if you like everything. Uh, so I really would, uh, wish the person who bought these would have... Uh, would have kept it because I'm sure that meant a lot but uh, it is what it is I don't have contact with that person uh, anymore it's just a one and done type thing uh, next up annotations of an autopsy with before the throne of infection and to the reign of darkness next up is anthropia with the uh, the Aaron Chronicles Part 1, The Journey Begins. Next is Antimatter with Fear of a Unique Identity. Then we have uh, Antipope with Rex Mundi. Uh, next, there are very few psychopathic records artists that I actually enjoy. Um, I used to listen to ICP like unironically when I was in middle school and thankfully outgrew that uh, but anybody killer I actually really uh, did like his music um, I didn't think it was that bad uh, we have hatchet warrior and medicine bag after that we have Aosoth with ashes of angels and three Next up is Aphotic with doo -doo -doo, Stillness Grows. Next up is Apocalyptica with uh, Plays Metallica by Four Cellos, uh, Inquisition Symphony, Cult, uh, Reflections, this is the deluxe edition with the bonus tracks and a bonus DVD I believe. Uh, nope, just bonus tracks. Then we have the self-titled. Uh, Worlds Collide. This is the deluxe edition with the bonus DVD. Uh, Seventh Symphony. Again, deluxe edition with the bonus DVD. And Wagner Reloaded Live in Leipzig. Next up is Apotheosis with... Uh, farthest from the sun. Next up, we have Arch Enemy, melodic death metal from Sweden, uh, with, of course, uh, originally, um, well, I guess not originally, originally, they had a, a male vocalist first, then Angela uh, Gosso from Germany on vocals for the longest time. Now they have Alyssa from, Alyssa Weigelis from The Agonist uh, on vocalist now, on vocals now. Um, these first four, I'm actually surprised I found. They're, they're, they are first presses, which is pretty crazy. Um, and I found them for a good price. So we have... Uh, which one's this? Black Earth. Stigmata. Burning Bridges. I'm sorry, those first three were the ones I meant. Uh, then we have Wages of Sin, the ultimate edition, as they termed it, with the bonus uh, second CD. Uh, Anthems of Rebellion, uh, deluxe edition with the bonus DVD. Uh, the Dead Eyes See No Future EP. Uh, Doomsday Machine. Rise of the Tyrant. Revolution Begins EP. Chaos Legions, the final with Angela Gar uh, Gosso. And the first with Alyssa White Gloose. Uh, War Eternal, the Deluxe Digipack. Oh, I missed one. Uh, they're also their most recent album, Deceivers. Next up is Arch Goat, which I have a couple from them. Uh, first is the Apocalyptic Triumphator. 
and the All Christianity Ends EP. Next up is Architects, which I know people are a lot more divided on now, but uh, I still like quite a bit of their most recent stuff. Um, first is Ruin, Lost Forever, Lost Together. All Our Gods Have Abandoned Us, Holy Hell, uh, For Those That Wish to Exist, and The Classic Symptoms of a Broken Spirit. Next up is Archspire with Relentless Mutation, then we have Arcturus with Arcturian, Uh, Ares Kingdom with Incendiary. Arcana with Years in the Darkness. Or Archaea, excuse me. Uh, then we have uh, Arcona, not the Russian symphonic metal Arcona. I don't remember where this one's from. Uh, but this Arcona has uh, Lunaris. Uh, Age of Capricorn. And then this one is the uh, Arcona from Russia uh, with Stinka Nastinku, I think is how it's pronounced, uh, which is an EP. Then we have uh, Arsis with A Celebration of Guilt. We Are the Nightmare. Uh, Starve for the Devil. Unwelcome. Next is Ascendia with the Lion and the Master. Or sorry, the Lion and the Jester. I can't read apparently. Then we have Ascension of the Watchers with Numin uh, Numinosum. I believe that's how it's pronounced. That is um, a project of Burton C. Bell, formerly of Fear Factory. Then we have Ascension Theory with Answers. All right, and then from there we have Asgard with To a Golden Age. Ashes Divide with Keep Telling Myself It's Alright. Then we have, uh, what was this one? Asobi Seku with Citrus. Uh, Asterium with Worm of Melancholy. Uh, Astaroth Incarnate with Omnipotence, The Infinite Darkness. Shout out to Sam Astaroth over at um, uh, Banger TV. Astral with uh, Felicitum uh, Lunari. Then we have At the Gates with The Red in the Sky is Ours. Terminal Spirit Disease. And of course, Slaughter of the Soul. Next up, we have At the Throne of Judgment with the Arcanum Order. Then we have Ataraxy with Slow Transcending Agony. Next is the Atlas Moth with an Ache for the Distance. Then we have Atramentus with Stygian. Uh, Atriarch with an Unending Pathway. Next up is Atrophia Red Sun with Twisted Logic. Then we have Austere with Withering Illusions and Desolation. Uh, then we have the Autumn Offering with Revelations of the Unsung. Requiem. And the Self-Titled. Next up is Avantasia, uh, the project from Tobias Summit, with the Metal Opera. The Metal Opera Part 2, Lost, the Lost in Space Part 1 EP, and Lost in Space Part 2 EP. Next up is The Scarecrow. This one is a double set in a, uh, in a, a slipcase. This is The Wicked Symphony and Angel of Babylon, and those are both right there, each with their, uh, well, uh, both in the respective digipacks with the extra booklet here. 
found this for like seven bucks. Had to uh, had to grab it when I could. Next is the Mystery of Time. This is the deluxe Digibook. Oh shit! I wasn't expecting something to fall off my desk, but oh well. Um. Anyway, the Mystery of Time with uh, the bonus uh, two bonus tracks, deluxe Digibook. Uh, Ghost Lights and a paranormal evening with the Moonflower Society. Next up, Avenged Sevenfold, uh, another band that metalheads are always split on, especially now more than ever after their most recent album, which I enjoyed. Um, I, w I was going in expecting to hate it. The singles were trash uh, by themselves, but in the context of the album, they make so much more sense. Uh, anyway, Sounding the Seventh Trumpet, Waking the Fallen, City of Evil, uh, self-titled, uh, Live in the LBC and Diamonds in the Rough, Nightmare, Hail to the King, uh, Waking the Fallen Resurrected uh, has the main album, uh, Waking the Fallen Disc two, uh, Disc 2 is the resurrected disc with like demos and live tracks, and then a bonus DVD. Uh, the Stage, this is the deluxe edition with the lenticular cover and the um, bonus uh, bonus disc with all the uh, like covers and other uh, other tracks that they released uh, like piece by piece after the stage dropped. And their most recent album, Life is But a Dream, this is the uh, indie store exclusive cover. Also, I haven't been able to figure this out. There's a sticker in here that's right here that says tap phone here, and I cannot figure out how it works. Um, I've tried tapping my phone there, and it doesn't do anything, so. Um, unless that's the joke, which it very, I guess it very well could be. Next is Averse Sephira, uh, Sephira with Battles Clarion. Then we have Arion with uh, The Final Experiment. This is the uh, deluxe edition with the bonus DVD, or bonus acoustic CD, I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, Actual Fantasy, this is the revisited version with uh, live drums. Into the Electric Castle, uh, it says it's the special edition, I don't know what's special about it, uh, it just has the two CDs, I guess it has a bonus enhanced uh, element, but I'm not sure. Um, the Universal Migrator Part 1, The Dream Sequencer. The Universal Migrator Part 2, Flight of the Migrator. The Human Equation, this is the uh, two CD DVD box set. Uh, 01011001, also just called 01, uh, 2 CD DVD set. The Theory of Everything, also 2 CD DVD set. Uh, and then I also have, um, I'll, th I'll do this one first, the Arion Universe 2 CD set uh, for the live show. Um, these earbooks for the albums that have come after the Theory of Everything, we have uh, the Theater Equation, which is signed by Aryan. It's a, a three CD, or sorry, two CD, three, uh, two DVD Blu-ray yearbook. Uh, then we have the one for The Source, also signed by Aryan, two CD, uh, or sorry, four CD and, DVD, and one DVD. Then uh, Transitus, uh, which is not signed by Aryan, I missed uh, missed out on the signed ones, but still pretty cool. Uh, I love these yearbooks. Uh, this is a um, two CD, or sorry, three CD. Uh, no, it is four CDs. The two for the main album, the one for the instrumentals, and the one ha this uh, this one has a guide vocals disc, which is pretty cool. So our, because Arion recruits vocalists for uh, the characters, he uh, Arion also uh, records guide vocals to kind of give them a tape, like show them what he's wanting. Uh, from them, um, so it's kind of cool that they included that because they have, I, to my knowledge, have not include, included that in any Arion release in the past. And then disc five is the bonus DVD. And then this one, it's a little out of order, but uh, I had to get up, uh, like pause the recording to get up and grab those, so I grabbed this one as well because I almost forgot about it. Arian Lucasen's Supersonic Revolution, uh, the Golden Age of Music. This is a two CD uh, DVD set. Uh, and this is like a tribute to the 70s, as Aryan put it, with with the modern prog twist. Um, and this is a, a uh, 2023 release from him. And then finishing up the A's, we have Azagol with Perkelin Luoma. 
and uh, a Zaxul with the Saints impaled. That's going to do it for the A's. God, this video turned into like 38 minutes or something. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, hopefully this will be a good way for you guys to discover some new music that you're looking for, maybe. Um, or just remind you of something that you haven't listened to in a while. Either way, we'll see you in the next part. Take care.